Let's head over to the Rush Center now for some state volleyball. In the boys' semifinals, top seed Kimberly faced number five seed Brookfield East. Makers rolling in the first set. Spencer Herman with the spike, and the Spartans' backline can't handle it. Then Tony Wisneski and Jackson Schrader hosting a block party at the net. Kimberly by four. That's as close as Brookfield East would get. Caleb Laundry with the ace to give Kimberly the first set. In the second half set, Landon Krause with the spike to put Kimberly in front by five. And the papermakers cruise into the title game with the sweep 3 0. On the girls' side now in the Division II semifinals, Luxembourg Casco facing Wisconsin Lutheran. This one all Spartans early on. Check out Holly Barrel with the soft set for the kill. A little bit later, Becca Day sets up Grace Holshue. She spikes that one down. LC up by five. Then it's Hannah Doreen with the hammer, and LC makes their way to the championship game as well with a 3 0 sweep. How about some more sweeps in the D3 round? Howard's Grove went in as the top seed hosting Falk Creek. Early on, Tiger, Sage Damrell on fire from the service line. There's a quick ace. She then lines up yet again. Same result. Boom. Just like that, Howard's Grove had a six point lead when she wasn't firing aces. The interior on her defense was killing the ball as well there for another block and point. And Howard's Grove, they also cruise into the championship round, winning in three straight sets. To round out our state coverage, the Nina boys soccer team took down Eau Claire Memorial 41 in the state semifinal. They'll face Verona in the state championship match tomorrow at 7 p.m.